Hello everyone, welcome back to Demon Spawn Gladiator with Ultraviolet 4. This is part 3. I've just jumped straight into it because the last one I... Um, when I came back to it I had trouble with the sound and everything so... Uh, yep, every, you can see here everything's still open if you just jump straight in from the last one. Uh, we're playing here on the Korean server with sound which is a lot of fun I think. Um, we are building our quads piety. We're currently looking for Blair. Uh, it could have been on this floor, but wasn't. So it's going to be somewhere between 9 and 11. And yeah, you're probably hearing storm sounds in the background. Uh, there's a cyclone going on, but uh, it's no big deal. Okay, hungry ghost and an ogre. Uh, he makes makes us do the hungry sounds every time and you can see we're starting to make more noise now because uh, we just made he got struck by lightning it made a red noise and you heard 10 shouts uh, that suggests to me that maybe like the entrance to orc is here maybe like 10 orcs just heard us something like that someone's saying hi hello uh, I know he's talking to me when he's saying um, Hi Ultra Yeah, so they were orcs, I was right about that I don't know if there was definitely an orc at my entrance though Alright, we got another ID scroll Let's get this potion, invis uh, That's good I've got five spectators I wonder if this is like a bit of a novelty that uh, someone's playing on their server. Uh, read the scroll. Fear. Okay. <laughs> they they run away. <laughs> what is that? The orc weeps quietly. Oh man, that was amazing. I'm glad that just happened. That was sick. <laughs> Uh, that's a D9 Cyclops. That is an interesting sound. Uh, let's hit him with a Wand of Acid. Okay. Uh, Alright, well there's a Battle Axe. What's our Axe skill? It's only at 9, so we couldn't use a Battle Axe anyway. So the plain battle axe is not gonna tempt me away from shields just yet. All right, and there was a plate mail there. I thought. Did I not see a plate mail? Uh, doesn't look like it. Uh, no, can't find anything like that. Okay, and I was right. It was an orc entrance. Look at that power of deduction. Uh, here's a troll. Uh, that's a bit scary. Uh, I think, okay, we're trapped between a bunch of things. So this is, uh, Quaz in action. Uh, I think I want to, uh, lightning him. We can double zap him. Okay, well we got wrecked. Uh, I think I just want to teleport away. It's a bit scary. Alright, there we go. Uh, we're gonna up here with the priest. Good. <laughs> so now we can just freely run away from uh, the Komodo dragon. Uh, we've been confused. <laughs> That's a great sound too. Um, okay, we're gonna need to cure out of this one. Cannot afford to be. Uh, why don't we just make a elemental force? I should do it. That'll do it. Listen to those war sounds. I don't know if these guys can see invis. Uh, the Komodo dragon is often on a um, entrance into lair, so that also tells me that 
Lair is probably on D9. Uh, there's a troll there. No. There's a troll. Well, this one we haven't been to, so let's go there. We also never found that um, two-headed ogre, so it's, I think, running around somewhere here on D8. Let's head back towards these guys, I guess. And um, I'm going to shoot an acid out. It's mostly for the troll. And I guess we'll go again. Good. Uh, we didn't get a troll of the armor. Not that I would wear it actually, probably. Because I'd rather be heavier. Um, yeah, so I don't know why I'm noting that one. There's Maurice. He now always has a wand. So he could um, acid us, etc. Uh, so we need to kill him ASAP. I'm gonna acid him. Uh, I guess we're gonna upheal him. Alright, there we go. We got him. <laughs> uh, that gives us a cloak. Good, that's an extra yeah. XC. Yeah, we'll equip ourselves. Uh, did he not have a wand? I thought there was a trunk change that uh, Ijib and Maurice always have wands now. Doesn't seem like it. Interesting. Pretty sure this game was on trunk. Oh. So we got an amulet. Uh, let's put the amulet on. <laughs> I was gonna say harm is the only one we care about. Uh, it's not the worst. Oh, I don't. I don't want it. Uh, let's drop it. Yeah. So we're gonna get drained. That's okay. It's a drain sound. Uh, a plus zero hat does nothing except make us look cooler. Yeah. So let's do it. When we get our third level of the antennae. Uh, mutation, it'll push the hat off anyway. So I'm I'm not gonna bother um, enchanting it or anything. Yep, there's our our lair as we suspected. Uh, I don't want to go in just yet, so I'm gonna, especially not when we just got red drained. Although I just walked to it. So we're gonna head down a bit more and try to get rid of some of our drain before we do. Uh, le let's eat so we're not very hungry. It's a pear apple. It's a lime apple. Uh, the wraith indicates that there might be Josephine here. Yep, there she is. Uh, we got slowed. Let's just get away from her. Fight the, the ghoul on its own. Okay, we got... Okay, so it looks like... Oh, this is unfortunate. So, the top mutation of this EV one gives you repel missiles, but we're gonna get repel missiles from our god anyway, so that's a bit unfortunate. It's like a, they remove repel missiles from the game, and then we, we happen to get a god and mutation set that gives us a double up of it. Evolution failure. Yeah. Yes. Yes, it is. <laughs> oh dear. Yeah. Uh, oops. I don't know why things are repeating. Uh, yeah, we have we have not been lucky in our evolution here. Oh well. This is a a, a poor man's a uh, demon spawn. Real. Losing to this guy, not the one. Okay, we'll just keep fighting these ghouls one at a time. Josephine is much easier when she's on her own. She does a, yeah, that one, that ghostly fireball. Um, it hurts you. It drains you. Uh, but it also heals the race, so um, you don't want to be fighting her in the race at the same time. And I like how we're getting drained when we are already super drained as it is. What do our skills look like? Eight. 
We have eight points of axis when we should have uh, this one, 10.3. It's not the worst, I guess. I'm getting just trained again. Uh, let's up here with her. And again. It's like a cannon sound. And I guess we can just acid her. We're getting so drained. Alright. So our plan to get rid of our drain. I don't know if you noticed there, but we got we got agility from our we sometimes gain power from taking damage mutation. Uh, it's a pretty bad one. Uh, there's a Neo. You can, I guess, just up here with him. Yep. Easy enough. Another fear scroll. Uh, books. I feel like we're not casting spells this game. Uh, so I'm just going to turn books off. So we're not even going to bother picking them up. Uh, and the Koreans are probably going to be very confused if I get three runes and then win. Uh, it's really funny, but uh, the Koreans only, they pretty much exclusively play three rune games. It's really funny. Uh, let's just have a look. If we just pick, say, some of the people in our chat. Uh, well, this guy's won once, but it's 15 runes. Let's pick someone else. This guy. 13 wins. Mostly 15 runes. I don't know why. Something the Koreans really like 15 runes for whatever reason. Uh, this could get really bad. Um, I want to leak, but the problem is with leak is that we're making so much noise, we're going to be drawing everyone to us. And we can't uh, then teleport away if, say, some scary unique comes. So I think I'll start off just trying to upheaval the bees. And if we can just deal with them that way, it would be preferable. Okay, we've only got one left. So that worked. Oh, there are more coming. One bee at a time is fine. I'm just worried about, say, five or six. This looks like it's the... Uh, the B vault with the number that are coming. Yeah, here they come. Hmm. Let's get some more appeals going. Nice. We're down to two piety, so uh, we're losing our piety with all this appeal spam, but that's okay. Better to use it and be safe rather than not use it. Worried about this B vault? Probably not. That poison sound is so bizarre. What even is that? They get so destroyed by the clouds. Yeah, there they are. Okay. The queen bee is a bit scary, although not as scary on her own. She has the basility, the ability to berserk uh, the bees. So, uh, fighting all the bees when they're berserk is a very good way to die. Oh, uh, here she comes. Okay. Alright. She still is a bit dangerous on her own. She can do a lot of uh, poison damage. But 
if we just acid her and maybe now throw a lightning. Maybe we'll do one more lightning. Should be fine. Yeah, look at that. And there's still bees coming. Bees! Starting to work out drain off finally. Oh, there's still so many. They come. I think we can fight them. Yeah, we got more things coming. Okay, we got some new scrolls. If I have a look at what I haven't seen, which is backslash and then minus, uh, so we have quite a lot of things we haven't seen. All right, let's keep going then. Enchant armor. Uh, I feel like we'll put it on our cloak, maybe. What? Vulnerability. Okay. We got a whole bunch of royal jellies. that what is hissing like that these are not hisses I'm like growls uh, more recharging uh, we only have three on our assets so I think and it's been really good so I think this will just be our, our plan we'll just keep acid wanting things I guess we may as well get a tomahawk off missed That's scary without our poison. Let's try to acid it. We got it. So we're probably okay. I just want to acid it again. Those guys are no laughing matter. It looked kind of trivial after I acided it twice, but um, if I hadn't done that, <laughs> could have been ugly. More leg. I don't think we've seen a plate now. No, still not. Um, I'm gonna stick my head down on D11, but I, I'm a little bit apprehensive about actually doing the floor. Uh, D11 can start to be kind of scary, and because of our noise, we're gonna pull all of it to us. So if we just kind of stay around the stairs a bit and see what comes, maybe it's all right. But I don't just want to auto explore away from the stairs and just get swamped by a bunch of. Well, there can be ugly things and. Uh, there can be all sorts of things. Yeah, see, there's an ugly thing. Uh, so we're leaving. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear. Uh, it gurgles horribly. Indeed it does. This is great. I want to play all my games on the Korean server. Uh, this other stair, let's X that out. Uh, we'll check out the third stair that we haven't seen yet. But uh, the ugly thing makes me not want to be here. Not fully anyway. Has this guy got a plate now? He does. Okay, so we can get a plate armor now. Alright, there's our plate armor. So we're going from 15, 12 to... I should be on the stair when I do this. To 17, 10. Yeah, that's worth. A huge distant slurping noise. Uh, I thought jellies... I wonder if I am in 19. Maybe I didn't do trunk. I don't know, because I thought jellies no one get eight items as well. Oh, that's an ugly thing. Let's get away. Okay. 
Uh, so we want to do the opposite. We'll X this one and oops, unX the others. This is why we can't uh, stay away, uh, travel away from the stairs either, because the ugly thing is just going to find us everywhere due to the noise. Is there no nothing there? I don't know. I feel a bit. I don't feel great about being here actually. Uh, let's just go to Lair. Alright, to Lair 1. Uh, immediately we meet a Black Mamba. <laughs> uh, welcome to the Lair of Beasts. <laughs> Alright, uh, these guys are, have a lot of um, evade and a lot of poison. So I think I'm gonna upheaval it. Yeah, okay. Uh, we should be fine now, I think. Now that it's nearly dead. And if it starts killing us, we'll just upheaval it again. Good. Yeah, see, don't be afraid to spam your abilities. Uh, I said this a fair bit on Fedas, um, but it's true for all gods. You, it's not a competition to get the most piety. You're trying to win the game. So you're better off just spamming your god abilities if you have to and staying alive rather than uh, trying to build piety and then just dying. It's kind of like your consumables. You can think of your piety like a consumable. It's a resource for you to spend. You're better off using too much than not enough and then just dying. With cold-blooded monsters like these blink frogs, when they, if they get hit by freezing clouds, they'll get slowed. So I have no idea if all these people talking in chat are trying to talk to me, or if that's the public chat. Alright. Invocations to 10. We're just gonna keep going. We'll probably train invocations for the whole game. Kind of like when we're a um, hill of beer. Where did that porcupine come from? I don't know. Seems to come from nowhere. <laughs> Odd. Let's see. What can we buy? We could buy the Amulet of Reflection. Uh, I'd probably still rather just keep... Would I rather keep saving for the Ring of Slaying? The Amulet of Reflection would be very valuable. It gives us 12 shield and then Reflection. Hmm. There aren't that many projectiles in Lair though, but extra shield. Yeah, let's do that then. Uh, as good as the plus 4 slaying is, uh, I think we'd be better off just uh, being stronger for now. It is this one. No, it is that one. Kaching. <laughs> if you're ever wondering about whether you should be making yourself stronger now or later. So if your question is, should I be enchanting my armor or waiting till a better armor? We're on the side of being stronger now. As you get later into the game, you'll end up with more tools. You'll generally be stronger. So, uh, better pretty much always to be stronger now and let your future self deal with future you. That's a good, uh, tip for life as well. When you're thinking, should I, should I have another beer now? She'll make it hard at work tomorrow. Uh, just let your future self deal with your future problems. Just keep getting drunk on a work night. No, don't actually.
This can be called crappy life lessons with ultraviolet four. And you see how all these monsters still just keep getting pulled to the stairs? Uh, it's kind of a... Especially later on when you full pirate and making heaps of noise. Uh, you have these epic stair battles and then you explore the floor after and it's just empty. Uh, that's also a thing about... Um, some people will completely say that Quaz is one of the worst gods in the game. Um, I don't think that's true. Uh, so, if you if you do these stair battles like this, you're actually it's pretty safe, and especially if you're say a an heavy armored axe user like we are, uh, you're happy to fight battles around stairs all day. So, uh, it's kind of like Song of Slaying. If you use your noise to bring enemies to you in places where you're strong, it's actually a good thing. Anyway, uh, so try to stay in your stairs for best results with cause. But as you get more piety and more noise, it'll start just happening automatically. I don't want to put this on in case it has contamination or um, draining on it, so I'll ID that. A ring mail is probably not an armor I'd want anyway, unless it's something really good, like it's a plus 10 with plus 6 slay or something. I don't know. There's not a hiss. I wonder if that's a Komodo dragon hiss. No? I doubt the polar bear was hissing. Hissing, I'm afraid. Uh, so we sense a whole lot of things running at us. Hell yeah. Uh, we only have 18, 17 strength, we want to get to 23 or 4, so more strength. Uh, no mutation. As that observer said, fail mutation. Yes, it is. Uh, we froze him, and then I walked him out of the freezing cloud. Whoops. Uh, okay. I think we, we could have taken a couple more hits there. If he hit me again, I might have acided him or something. Oh, see, we got might. Yeah, our, our powered by suffering gave us might. So see, that was a bad situation, so it's like you get rewarded for being, uh, nearly dying. <laughs> yeah, some gloves. We've got plus zero gloves. This is a cursed plus zero gloves, great. Oh well. I enchant armor. Uh, I'm not gonna enchant something. There's nothing particularly exciting I have that I want to enchant. Okay, so a bit of dex. See, that sounds like a that hiss sound is what I imagine a Komodo dragon might sound like, but it doesn't. Uh, it doesn't suit the uh, iguanas very well. Okay, that one I actually killed. Fighting to nine. I think I'm pretty happy with this, uh, with this skill training. Uh, once I get armor to around 10, maybe I might train a bit more dodging. Okay, layer one done. Uh, okay, there's Sonya. Uh, what has she got? I'm gonna XP her. Uh, we don't know yet. Um, I have no Hex Wand, so I want to just immediately hit her with upheavals to kill her. She's fragile, but very um, evasive, 
So this should just kill her. Alright, there we go. She had a wand of acid too. Jeez. And yeah, her short sword was distortion. So you, you never want to let her get on top of you. I'm also going to confiscate her curare needles and her blowgun. Um, they're very good against uh, breathing uniques. Uh, let's remove curse. By breathing uniques, I mean things that are alive, because curare won't do anything to say zombies. We rescued this other needle. Alright. And we have a little bit of throwing skill, which is what you use for blue guns. Not much though. Uh, let's eat some apples. Some very crunchy grapes. So we got spider. Uh, let's see how we go. Uh, if, as long as this guy doesn't do that. Uh, oh, we reflected it. Sick. Okay. Uh, that was, yeah, all hit us. This is not a good place to rest, so I want to be heading back towards the stairs rather than trapped in there as more monsters potentially come to us. Yep, so we'll go back up and rest. And in fact, I want to check out the stair. Using our, using our noise to fight things at stairs. See, we can just stair pull this stuff up, kill it all. <laughs> oh. And then do it again. Looks like we also got shells. So we're going to want to try to get our poison to do spider first, because shells is not one you're in a hurry to do. Okay, that's our mesmerize, I guess. That's the the haunting song from the siren. Got it. <laughs> Fast combat sounds so awesome. It's actually, this game hasn't been as laggy as I uh, f kind of feared it might be. Uh, we're getting very poisoned. Uh, right, well, we got it. Okay, so we just got four pied again. So it said we adapt resistances upon receiving elemental damage. So that's good. We have enough for our, our ring of RC. Uh, not that I particularly want that. I'm probably going to find an ice cave now and then I'm going to be sad about it because I could have bought the resistance. Uh, so this is a bad fight because uh, we're fighting a black mamba without um, our poison, but we're also in a hallway, so we're not getting our clouds. I'm going to try netting him. Oh, we got only one. That was good. Well, we mostly killed him with the net, so I was alright fighting him after that point. Hey, 
pay more as boss. Cool. Yeah, see that that is not a snake hiss. That is more a Komodo dragon hiss. We've already found both our branches, we've got shells and spider. That's right, I remember now. It seems like in particular the um, the storm clouds make the most noise. Because it's kind of yellow generally, but I've noticed when we do storm clouds is often when it goes red. Maybe, I don't know, maybe it has to actually lightning zap something. Yeah, it happened there. No, maybe it's just random. Could be reading too much into this. Alright, we just made a red noise. Uh, so I wanted to go to the stairs, but there's nothing coming. Lightning rod. That is not a snake hiss. And when you get elemental resistances from claws, poison resist is not one of them. These being six sounds, though. So. Okay. Royal jelly is quite crunchy by the sound of it. Come on, Steam Dragon. His clouds stop my clouds, that's actually a bit of a counter. There we go. Steam Dragon Scales is a really light armor, so I'm not gonna wear that. It's basically, it's the equivalent to robes. Gives you zero, um, what's that thing called? I don't know, I've forgotten. It gives you zero encumbrance, but a little bit more AC than a robe does. I'm probably not going to use this lightning rod, but I may as well have it. Alright, that was a fairly empty floor. Let's do one more floor. That looked very much like we were doing Trog's burn book, because we put a fire cloud on it. I think, oh no. I thought that might have been a sort of Spriggan forest thing that you sometimes get. Uh, it's a less six ending, but it can sometimes have a smaller version on earlier layer floors. It's growling snakes. Uh, here's a dream sheet. I'm just going to upheaval it. Now we've got more coming. You can at least get out of vision. Alright, well we got it. Um, we have a whole lot coming. We can upheaval all three. We've slept. Alright, so we just got nailed with the sleep, so let's just kill them. It's nearly dead. There we go. Alright. Uh, so dream sheep are really dangerous when you have other monsters around. Uh, the crocodile isn't so bad, but if it was something like um, a Komodo dragon who hits really hard in melee, 
uh, I would have been much more panicked about the Dream Sheet. You saw it as it was, how hard it hit. And, um, a crocodile isn't even that bad compared to, say, a spiny frog or a Komodo dragon or something like that. We may as well drop our empty lightning now that we just found a new one. Do we have an empty one? I thought we did. Yep, we have an empty ice blast and an empty lightning. And let's just re. Um, let's just redo the letters on some of these. Uh, my ice blast is usually D. Yep. And lightning is F. This one. Uh, random effects, we don't want that. Is this our requirement? No. <laughs> and being a bit ho hopeful here, I think. Uh, it would be nice to get a good axe, though. Uh, there's a fire crab. We have RF, though. Uh, if you... This is still quite dangerous. Uh, but if you didn't have RF, it would be really, really dangerous. I'm gonna acid it. And probably again, actually. Yeah, so look at this. It makes the fire clouds like that, and its attacks do a lot of fire damage too. Yeah, got it. A uh, fire crab on left floor is like a classic. Because uh, they're a rare enemy. If, you're, if you've never seen a fire crab before, and you came across one at this time, uh, it'd probably just kill you if you underestimated it. There's another plain battle axe. Mm. Dream sheep on their own. That's okay. No hydra. No hydra, no worry. Alright, there's our left four. Uh, let's leave it there then. Uh, join me for the next one and we'll finish off lair. Maybe do a bit more dungeon and then head into the orcish mines. See you later.